Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another World Finals video. Look at Zara jumping around. Um, so today we have our match versus Team Queso and this is probably the greatest, I don't really know what word I would put, but probably the greatest match I think I've ever played in my career after, I don't know what it's been, like four whole years. This uh, this one made me pretty proud, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to go through it all. We're going to show you guys the drafts. We're going to show you guys all the games. Uh, because the match is so long, um, we're not going to show you every single part of every single game. We're going to try and cut it a little bit so it's not like an hour-long video. Uh, with that being said, let's hop into the games. Let's get this started. Now, before we get any deeper into the video, I just wanted to thank OnePlus for sending me their OnePlus 10T phone. I really enjoy playing on this device because it's nice and smooth. It's a phone, but it's still 120 hertz, and it has really cool features such as the 120 hertz pro gamer mode. So you can switch between low power mode, balanced mode, and pro gamer. Obviously, as a pro, as someone who likes to play, I'm going to be going with the pro gamer mode, and I really like this feature. It was really fun to play in the OnePlus Open where me and my team actually won first place and came home with the prize of $18,000, plus everyone on the team gets their own OnePlus device. Playing on a new device is always difficult, but playing on the OnePlus and getting adjusted to it while playing in the tournament was really simple for me. First off, you can never run out of battery as it charges from 1% to 100% in just 20 minutes. On top of that, the OnePlus is a really high performance 3D cooling system, as well as a 360 degree antenna that allows for optimal Wi-Fi. You can play on as strong and have as good of a connection as possible while playing on this device. So obviously the most important is that there is 120 Hertz. So you have the absolute most amount of frames that you can play with to get as slimy and as wiggly in the game as possible. Now there are still giveaways that are gonna end soon going on. So if you click the link in my description, you can get entered in some giveaways, such as a chance to get a trip to Paris for world finals. On top of that, you can get other cool things such as earbuds and even your own OnePlus 10T phone. Lastly, I would just like to thank OnePlus one more time for sending me this device. It's really cool to play on. I might switch to it for my phone and just throw away my other one. And thank you for allowing me to play in your tournament. With that being said, let's hop right back into the video. So just for a little bit of background, TQ I think finished fourth in the uh, EMEA region. Uh, there are a bunch of good players, Ali SSJ, Javi and Boss, really, really good players. And then, you know, the hater himself, Don's the coach. Uh, also, you know, really good coach. You know, much respect to these guys. We like them, we hung out with them uh, a little bit besides, you know, the Brawl Stars portion. And they're really cool guys. So for the draft, uh, let's just go, go over it quickly. So we banned Poco, Squeak, and Max. So Poco and Max are kind of like standard bans if you don't have first pick because if you first pick something, let's say for example, Tick, someone can go Poco or Max and just run you down with the tank. And I mean, Tick's okay in the tanks. So that's why it's a first pick. It's a pretty safe first pick, but still you would definitely give advantage to the other side. And then of course we ban Squeak because Squeak's kind of just, I don't know, no one likes Squeak. You don't want someone to last pick Squeak. Uh, so let's skip forward in the draft a little bit, show you guys what happens. So they end up going with Penny and Otis. So this is kind of well-rounded. I mean, Tick is pretty good into Penny and same with Otis, but not the best. I think in this draft, this was probably our mistake. I mean, Janet's a really good brawler and does well into those two, but we were kind of like bent on going a tank because if you go tick and then kind of two squishier brawlers you can't really push up the map and they can definitely clap you with a good last pick like buzz or ash or daryl or something like that so i thought if we were to go gale in a tank it would kind of not let them counter us and then we would also get the best tank counter we end up going janet ash which i still don't think is the worst thing in the world but it kind of leaves open a free carl game for them so they didn't you know take the 30 seconds at all i don't know who, who it was on their team who was like go carl go carl go carl but uh they kind of insta locked the carl there so top into the game show you guys what happens okay so we're gonna try and show as much as we can in these games without making an hour-long video uh, so we're gonna start off by going for blue. We know or we knew sorry that they were gonna get there fast So all of us just kind of straight lined it um, and being a raged up ash I got a really easy kill. Abby kind of overextends over there and here I think I get the kill so I heal up and I move back But I don't know the rats they didn't kill him. So I kind of like fumbled the kill over there um, I just ran straight at Ali SSJ and got that kill and so, you know, pretty good start for us so far. So just moving ahead a little bit, we're kind of in our spawn now. We're in a good spot. Um, I can't go up too aggressive. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I think the game's going pretty well. Um, I think Ash is a pretty good brawler at land because I don't know. I think it's kind of hard to keep your distance like you would normally. 
Um, there's going to be a bunch of trades on your screen, but we do end up with, you know, the stars still. We still have the lead. And we're doing a pretty good job, I'd say, right now. So here I think I make a little bit of a, of a mistake. Um, we're, we have kind of like three kills in the bank. I mean, OG's got to stay alive. Or two kills, I mean. OG's got to stay alive, but I kind of want to stay aggressive as much as I can. So I'm looking to push out here. Um, I think I do it a little bit too early, and I should have waited for Ali SSJ to get a little bit closer. I go down here a tiny bit too early. I mean, I st it's definitely the right play to run forward like that. But still, like, you know, a little bit better timing would have been better. But that's going to be game number one. Pretty good start for us. What we like to see. Uh, top on in the next game. So we're in a pretty good spot. I think I overextend a little bit there. I got a kill, but clearly it's not worth it. Because it's like a two-star for six-star trade. Which obviously just, you know, that's not good. Uh, but we still have the lead here. Uh, we can only die one time though, unfortunately, because they do have the blue star. And I don't, I don't really know. Like this is the issue I think with our comp is once they start to like push into us, it's like what are we really supposed to do? Um, I think pushing up there was good, but I wasted my rats there, so I, I didn't really get any value, and I go down. So here now it's like nobody can die. And, I mean, it's just a weird spot. I don't know. I don't know exactly where everyone should be standing. I think I should probably move over to the right. Um, but we're kind of just getting shot at here. We know one of us is going to go down, so we're trying to get a little bit aggressive. But at the same time, there's just kind of nowhere to go. Um, we almost get a kill over there on Havi. Unfortunately, we're not able to. And OG tries to fly and make a play, but uh, it just doesn't really work out. I probably did overextend in the middle of the second game, but we definitely probably should have done something towards the end. So well played to them. On to the third game. And going to the third game, it's a little bit different. I mean, they're in their spawn now. They're doing pretty good. Boss has all the kills. Again, Carl was a pretty good pick for them. A pretty free pick. Um, but we could still win this game. I mean, we have them pushed back. There's still 45 seconds left. We're looking good. Um, OG, I remember at this point, he called for a switch. He really wanted to switch. Um, for me, I don't know. It doesn't really do anything. And I thought we would waste a lot of time switching. Um, because I don't know, like, there's, I can't really, like, walk over to the right and do anything different that I could do on the left. Uh, so I think OG moves now over to the mid. Um, but we're kind of just wasting a lot of time here. Like, no one's really doing anything. We're kind of just all standing in the mid. And Ali SSJ, you know, exactly like I try to do, runs it down. Uh, he somehow stays alive there. I don't really know how. And then I try and push in, but Javier's is mute. And, I mean, we definitely could have played this a lot better. Uh, we definitely messed that one up. But they do take the first set, so one nothing to them, and that's a map, you know, historically in these competitions we're not too good on, but we're actually pretty comfortable with, so that one was kind of a big L for us. Let's move on to map number two, show you guys what happened. So moving on over to map number two, they have first pick. So I don't know, we were kind of weirded out by this map because a lot of the different regions have really different meta. So for example, we haven't played M's here for like five months maybe six but we played east asia and they loved m's we were kind of lost on like not lost but it was we were kind of weirded out i don't know i would say this is the map we were probably least prepared for um so the goal was to kind of take a good lane that doesn't really lose to too much so we took griff and then we wanted to go buster because buster is buster it's really good into everything uh it's not as good as the current buster in the game this very second because it didn't have its gadget or star power that just came out but it was still probably the best brawler there so moving forward they go b and ash and looking back at it now max is definitely the pick uh but it looked like kind of a weird max game so we ended up going bow honestly don't ask me why we went bow some stuff i just don't have an answer for and this is one of them i don't know why we have a bow i don't even know who suggested honestly I have a good feeling i know who suggested bow but you know we all have to agree to make the pick and i don't know like it's not it's not like a bad pick but i don't know like it didn't really fit with our comp that much if that makes sense so the start of the first game i mean it's kind of going okay um i can more or less take the rough slain at the start zara has a hard time of course against the uh against the ash and then og i mean a bow can kind of work versus everything but i wouldn't say it has like a good matchup versus much uh so i get ali ssj low there again with the new Buster Gadget, you can just pull someone in and confirm that kill. So, I guess that's really the difference between new Buster and old, new Buster and old Buster. Um, but at this point, he breaks my side open. And that makes things kind of incredibly difficult. So, luckily, I have my shield at this point, which keeps me alive. I, I know I'm walking weirdly, but at the top, it definitely did keep me alive. Uh, we go over there and we kill boss. And at this point, I'm asking for a lane switch. Because 
open map B, open map powered up dog. Like, there's just nothing I can do on that right side. So I switch over to the left over here. Uh, boss is over here. And it also just gets completely wide open, which is... I mean, it's definitely better for their team, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's it's just like a really weird matchup for me to play. It's just a weird matchup for everyone. And um, I don't know. There's like not really too much we can do once the B gets powered up and the roughs gets powered up. They're going to take this first game pretty easily. Let's move on to the second game. Let me try and fix my wires quickly. And let's show you guys what happened. So moving on to the second game, it's uh, it's kind of a lot more like the first game. We're going to skip the first part a little bit. Uh, you guys can see... There's some wall breaks. Uh, the entire map is open, basically, which makes it incredibly difficult on me, incredibly difficult on whoever is laning the, the B. And really, the only lane I think we can win is if we get Zar matched up on Ash. So, I mean, we're kind of all holding our own here. The game is definitely winnable at this point. Uh, we have full position. Good switch over there so we can get Zar on the Ash and me on the dog. And here, I'm just kind of pushing him back. Zar is holding that right side really well. Uh, kind of waste the super a little bit there, but really good pinch, good kill. I go down because I get pinched by Javi and Ali SSJ. And I mean, I think the game is still winnable. It's 8-6 right now. So I, w I don't know if we have necessarily the best position in the world in terms of like, are we going to win or are we not going to win? But at least on the map, we have eight gems and they have six. But you see, the thing is here, I'm kind of caught in the middle. We only need one more gem here, so I go to the middle, I get it. Uh, we do end up getting the kill on Ali SSJ. Then OG gets the kill on Havi. So, I mean, I don't really know how this happened, uh, but we ended up winning this game. Our drafts, let me just say, I said this in the first video where uh, we faced AQM and won 3 nothing, but I still wasn't too much of a fan of our drafts. First two drafts that you guys have seen, they're, they're not good. The other team definitely has a better comp uh, by a pretty significant margin as well. And that's an issue, you know, you can be good at the game, and I'm not saying we're better at the game, maybe we just played better this day, but, I mean, you can't continuously give these really good teams from around the world these insane drafts, these really easy-to-play good drafts, and then just, like, expect to win, so that's definitely something we need to work on moving forward. Um, so kind of similar start for me for as the first game, we get Ali SSJ low. Zar wins lane. We also get Havi. So at this point, I mean, we're looking kind of good. OG gets the kill. And I mean, we can pinch him out over here. So it's kind of looking good. It's kind of looking promising right here. Um, we get the lane switch. You move me onto the open side versus the dog. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a weird lane. Havi is going to like slow me and 3k me. And once they get that one kill on me, it's kind of like... Well, what am I supposed to do now type of thing? So luckily, boss goes into our spawn. But the issue is Zar goes down. So Zar now has to work his way back up. And I'm on the right. I mean, it's a tie game right now. But they got the powered up dog. They're pretty close to getting a power up B. And this map is wide open at this point. So it's pretty difficult for our team to do anything here. The treat goes over to Havi. Um, I get slowed. They're kind of just bullying me at this point. And right here, it's just... It's like game over. We call we call the switch here because, again, the only lane we can really win is when uh, Zara moves over to boss. But, I mean, it's it's difficult to get a fully max raged Ash with rats out of that. And then it's pretty hard for me to push up in this two-tile little thing versus the powered-up dog. So, I mean, Havi's just kind of spawn trapping. They're just kind of spawn trapping us. They're waiting for the 10th gem to get on the map. There it is, and that is going to be enough for them to win the game. So we're down 2 nothing here, and it's not looking too good. But something that we did take from the second day is, I don't know if you guys saw, but the team that won Worlds was down 2 nothing in the first round. And the players on that team, they were smiling. They were on stage down 2 nothing, smiling, which is the weirdest thing ever. But at the same time, like, like, that's such a good mindset to have. That's just, like, don't get down on yourself, especially on stage where anything can change, as you guys know. We're on stage. We're chilling. I mean, yeah, we're a little bit stressed out. We're down to nothing. Uh, but when we're smiling, we're saying, you know, we can win this, all that. So let's move over to the third set. Positive mindset. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what happened. So this draft is pretty simple to break down. Uh, EU loves going first pick Brock. So our idea is give them the Brock, counter with Piper, take Max. Uh, Max was kind of on the spot, but taking Max was good. And it's like, what do they go into Piper? 
Because they can't go Nani, because we banned Nani. They can't go Jean, we ban Jean. They can't go Bonnie, we ban Bonnie. We took the max. They can't go Gus. There's like nothing really for them to take. So if you guys see, this is a very free Piper game. Like what I define as a free Piper game is when you can hit someone, click your green button, auto aim them, and they're dead. So realistically, you only have to hit one shot and kind of aim your curve or get them into a good curve area. Uh, but what you guys can see on the screen, we're talking to each other. We're feeling good. We're going with the tick. Uh, this is a pretty big out comp for us. Like this is almost as fat as an out comp as you can get. Uh, and we kind of have everyone on comfort brawlers. You know, OG loves playing tick. It's his main tick uh, or his main brawler. You know, it's, he just loves the tick. Uh, and then, you know, I like Piper, Zar likes Max, so we're feeling pretty good about this one. So top into it, show you guys what happened. So we're gonna kind of like skip over some starts in the knockout, because knockout does take a long time. Um, so a couple walls are broken, a couple things are broken by the Brock, and uh, we're kind of just doing our thing right now. Um, but we're kind of like all over the place. We're gonna get a kill over there on Havi. And this was pretty embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so Zar gives me the speed. I get marked. I jump back, but I don't realize there's actually smoke there. And I don't actually break our walls. Instead, I just break our grass. So not only do I kill myself while Zar is dying and put OG into a 1v1, but I also break my grass and not our walls. And that was pretty embarrassing. That was pretty bad. I don't know if I would necessarily chalk that one up. So I know I skipped ahead and we won around pretty quickly there. I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know who got kills. Doesn't really matter. It's probably me since I'm out of curves, not gonna lie, and that's how you get kills, I guess. The Piper. But yeah, I don't know. Like that was that was pretty bad. And I guess you can chalk that up to nerves, because to be honest, I wouldn't be doing that uh, online. I didn't really feel any nerves on stage and didn't think I was nervous, but like who does that? Like who just jumps into smoke randomly? So we'll chalk that one up to nerves. But yeah, we're kind of all over the place right here. I got no curves left, so you know, I'm a Mickey Mouse Piper. Can any shots without curves? And we're kind of backed up here. Zara's trying to do his thing, but it's it's like a good max game. But at the same time, like, they're keeping really good range. And it's hard to push into this as a max. Uh, so he's got one gadget left. He is marked. So there's, you know, there is that. But we kind of have one push we can make here. So Zara does gadget up. Body block, like, two shots. Uh, but unfortunately, it's all for naught. And uh, 3v1 situation here. You can see Ali SSJ. He's kind of feeling himself right there. Um, they're in a pretty good position. He's, he's kind of staring us down a little bit. He, he's, a, he's pretty cool. I hung out with him. Never really talked to him too much before. Hung out with him uh, before one of the match days. He's a cool guy. Um, that, it's definitely kind of all for fun. You know, no hard feelings for anything. But yeah, so kind of same thing here. Uh, we get a kill over there on Havi. 3v2 situation. And I try and break that wall and jump, but I move up, I die. Zar also dies. And uh, we'll, we'll blame this one on me. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a loss. So this is kind of a legendary screenshot though. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty legendary screenshot. Down 2-0, down 1-0 in the set, down 1-0 in the round. And uh, for us, History happens. I mean, we get the kill over there on Javi, and this is kind of where it all starts. Uh, we get a pretty quick round win over there. Um, things are looking not not good, but at least, you know, we won a round. That's pretty good, you know, because considering we lose one round, you know, we lose, we're out. Um, so I'm just chilling in my bush. I think by this point, they have a pretty good understanding that I'm just chilling on this left side trying to get a kill. Normally, I would be in the middle, but because I do counter all of them the left side is definitely the easiest for me to hit so i'm kind of just waiting for happy to overextend og's been doing his thing over there on the right side as the tick kind of locking his side down now i'm being really patient i'm trying not to shoot that much because i'm trying to draw happy in and get close enough to where i can two tap him uh, i'm trying to be as patient as i can uh, but these guys are kind of shooting at me we get boss low over there ali ssj is like half hp so you know everyone's doing their job everyone's doing their things are kind of wiggling around trying to get his uh Max super. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to be as patient as possible, not shooting any shots. Heavy gets a little bit too close, so we're able to get the kill on him. Ali SSJ extends, so OG gets him low. Boss is hitting a lot of shots. I haven't said that, but Boss hit a lot of shots during this set. I don't think he really had the best matchup. Like, he was kind of shooting a max for a good amount of it, but considering he's facing a Piper and a Tick, those aren't really good matchups for bell so i think he played really well this set and yeah so this round they broke my grass which is a really good break 
Um, I saw some people say they messed up this break, but that was a really smart one. I think they did that on purpose just so I can't stand in a bush and kill them. I also can't two-tap Havi if I'm not in grass, so that's just a really smart break. Zara uses the max speed to kind of push up lane and to put me onto the left. I thought I hit Ali SSJ there, so I go for the curve. I miss. And this is probably my best play here, to be honest. I'm like one shot and then no curve. See, I'm not a Mickey Mouse Piper. I can hit shots. You get the two tap over there, and that's going to give us the round win. Those are probably That was probably my best play, to be honest, at MSI. Maybe a little bit underwhelming because it wasn't, you know, super crazy. But those are two pretty clutch shots. I was pretty proud of that, considering none of them were curves. Um, and yeah, I thought I hit boss there. The thing is, they're staying really far away. Like, really far away. So every time I think I'm going to hit one, I, like, pop a curve and try and get the kill. And you guys can see, every time I curve, I either get the hit or I'm, like, 0.2 tiles or something short of hit hitting the person. Um, so I don't know. We, get, we do waste a good amount of curves. Again, same thing there. Like, it almost hits him. It doesn't. But at least it backs him up. Uh, boss is just like tapping like going crazy right now. OG's doing his thing on the right side. Uh, he's really holding Havi back there. Zar gets some free clips onto Ali SSJ. Uh, almost kills him, but at least it forces him to move back. Havi goes aggro. OG gets him the one shot for me, so we're able to get that kill over there. Then a couple more taps, but yeah, OG really held down his lane over there on the right side as a tick. I told you it's his main, like that's his brawler. Zar did his thing on the max, and we ended up getting the uh, the set win there. So that's kind of, you know, bringing the confidence back a little bit. And now we're feeling good, you know, we're smiling. OG's drinking his water. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next set, show you guys what happens. So yeah, going into the next map, we have Safe Zone. So Safe Zone, this is probably our best map. Actually, I think it is statistically our best map. Our win rate on this map is like absurd. Last year, it was Shooting Star when it was the Piper Tick Nani meta. Those of you who are loyal fans who were here last year, you guys know. Toonie on the Nani, uh, OG on the Tick, and me on the Piper. We weren't losing much of those. Those were... Those were good. You know, we let teams counter us. As long as we had those three brawlers, you know, we were winning. And that's kind of how it felt on Safe Zone. It felt like we really understood the draft really well on Safe Zone, at least in North America and at the start when we went to Europe. But to be honest, we played this map twice in our drafts. Eh, you know, not very good. So we banned Brock, Bell, Bonnie, because those are really good brawlers to take 2-3. Uh, we were hoping we would get Colette or Dog. Um, is Dog open? I don't know if the dog is open right now. I think it is. I think it is, which is really weird because in NA, it's like always a first pick. But I think it went this entire draft without being taken. So there you have a really good draft here. 8-Bit and Colt is so much damage. And the fact that they have 8-Bit Colt Otis, we can't go tank last pick here. We were thinking buzz. I, you guys can see me, hands on my side. You know, maybe I could buzz into this, guys. I think I can buzz into this. But no, it's not a good buzz game, especially, you know, with the way that Javi plays Otis. He loves sitting in his spawn and just waiting for you. It's his favorite. He does it in Power League all the time. We end up going with Carl. Again, I think they outdraft us here. I think Nani mid into 8-bit is like okay, but like 8-bit eventually is going to be able to juke one or two shots and then get a ton of damage on safe. I think Colt lane is really good versus Griff. I really like playing that lane uh, and into Carl. I don't think it's too good. And then Otis is just really solid overall. So I think they just have more damage than we do. And just like a safer comp. So again, um, really got to work on our drafts. It's something we're going to focus on a lot. Uh, but yeah, we got OG on the Nani, which if you guys watched the last video and if you guys watched Worlds, you guys would know OG Nani was uh, one of the best, like you put a player on a brawler, expect good results type of thing. OG on the Nani was just killing it all tourney. Um, and at the start of the game, OG said, you know, take your time with the lanes. Let me do my work. Uh, especially at the very start when you got a slow 8-bit. So, so he gets the kill pretty easily there. Uh, I ask for the pinch. OG gets the... I think he gets the kill here. Yeah, he does. Really good pinch. Zara is wiggling in the middle. He is doing his thing. OG with the TP. We're able to kill boss. So at this point, only Havi's up. We're like, okay, let's go. Uh, me and Zara are, I think, able to get the kill on Havi. I think Zara kills him there. Yeah, and then... 50%. We are not supposed to do 50% like that. That is not supposed to happen. We got really lucky in Heist. You cannot die at the same time. Two players cannot die at the same time or you're going to give up a lot of damage. Even though the only brawler they had open or up was Otis, which is probably their best defensive brawler, there's just like nothing you can do. So they're going to go in. They're going to try and do some damage. Uh, I think we have really good defense. Zara gets some nice kills. OG gets some kills. We get them all. 
and Zar gets a shot on the safe. OG gets some shots on the safe. But yeah, this game is looking really good. This is not how this game should go. Uh, we had a fantastic start. And I, you know, I'm kind of... Uh, Zar and OG are playing pretty good. I'm kind of just standing here, you know, doing Griff stuff, you know, chipping people, you know, trying to get some kills, uh, trying to get some supers off. I mean, I'm doing what, what I can on the Griff, but, you know, Zar and OG, they really took the set over, especially this game, and they played really, really well. Uh, you guys, this, I don't know, I feel like this might be Zar's best game. This game was just kind of ridiculous for Zar. He was just in the middle of the map, going around, getting kills, doing damage to the safe like this is really well played for czar and i mean i think it's a good carl game but i don't think it's like a free carl game but he made it definitely look like a free carl game uh so i ask for the pinch over here we're gonna get that pinch to finish it off um we're in the lead i'm saying let's get some damage but hold it's most important we hold only 20 or 20 seconds left so let's just do our thing let's hold uh me and og stay back czar goes forward um you know sometimes you just gotta not listen and go up if you think it's right and that's what czar did and he finishes off the safe and bam just like that uh we get you know one game so that's pretty good we're like yeah it was, it was pretty good let's let's try and do that again that was pretty good guys swords walking around you know doing his thing but yeah, so this game starts off a little bit slow, so I'll skip forward a little bit. They do 30%. Let me go back 10 seconds. Maybe we can catch it. Yeah, I think it was just the Colt. I don't know. We couldn't really kill Ali SSJ. I actually thought he played really well. Um, so I don't, I don't know who, but like, well, I saw like people being like kind of mean to him because they lost to Zeta at the land. And I mean, you know, we're definitely all going to be making fun of the... Uh, the sprout versus roughs uh, you know ali if you're watching this you know that's just that's just part of the part of the life now you're gonna have to deal with that uh but i thought he played really well i thought he played really well in the entire tournament to be honest same with javi same with boss this team was actually really good but yeah i don't know why i'm saying that it's probably because ali ssj did like 30 percent at the start but anyways uh not so good of a start here for the team um they have done what is it now 53 percent uh, that's a lot of percent because our comp is not supposed to do 53% during the entire game. Uh, the only reason we did last time is because of that start we had, but they took it a lot slower. I know I skipped it ahead. I'm trying to not make this an hour long video. Um, but yeah, they definitely played this game really well. But here again, Zarman, I don't know. I think we got to get him on Carl more often or something. Cause this guy is just like lethal on the Carl. That was a really good play by him. Uh, we're going to be able to get them low over there with the Griff Super. Uh, but, you know, everyone's kind of doing their thing now. Now we kind of have him backed up. OG has his Nani head, and I think he has TPs. But he, just hitting the Colt is playing it pretty safe. It's going to get him low. Uh, Zar goes down. We do get a pretty juicy Griff Super. And this, this was clutch. So 2v1, if they get positioned, they're going to win. OG kills both of them with two shots. That was huge. What that does, is obviously, it allows us to go up the map. Zar doesn't have any, like, Carl gadgets or anything. So, it's not like we can do too much. Uh, because my Griff Super was good the last time, we got another Griff Super. Uh, we hold it down. We do just enough damage to get the lead. And then... Uh, these wires, man. These wires. And then OG does some funny, weird TP wild play. And that's going to get us the uh, the second set. Shout out to the Vat or our second set. Se shout out to the Vatra boys for uh, cheering us on, being all loud and stuff. You guys can see a bunch of people in the stands. Uh, you can play, you know, a nice little game of Where's Waldo by the people you know. But we're feeling it here. Now it's 2-2. You know, we, we're doing our thing. OG got his Nani game. I got my Piper game. Zara got his Max game and his Carl game. So, you know, we're all feeling it. We got to play our Brawlers. Uh, so let's move on to the last set and uh, show you guys what happens. So the map is going to be Dueling Beetles. So this was a wild map. This is a wild. We practiced a lot with Griff. I don't think any other region plays Griff like we play it. But TQ clearly saw we were playing a lot of Griff. So they're just going to go ahead and ban Griff. Penny ban is kind of standard if the other team has first. And then Crow ban I also think is really good. Um, we ban Stu. D Boss is good at Stu. We're not good at Stu. We're not. We don't want to give it to him. Lou is a really good six pick if you want to go something tanky, which you guys see. Even though they do have Bell and B, we end up going Buster. And then Sprout is just like the ultimate sixth pick brawler on this map. It's so good. You have to ban it if the other team has six. Like, like there's just no way around it. So let's skip this forward a little bit. We take Brock. You guys know how we feel about Brock and NA. Uh, Brock definitely counters Bell and B, especially on this map. Especially on this map. So if you guys are watching from Europe, 
and uh, you guys want to outdraft your fellow Europeans, they love going B and Bell here. That's like their favorite is going B and Bell on this map. Just go the Brock. Just go the Brock. But don't open their side. Open your side. And you guys are going to see why in a second. So let's move over into the game here. They went Pam. We are lucky they went Pam. Imagine they went Ruffs and broke their side and had a powered up B and a powered up Bell versus our comp. We would not be winning this game, I think. Um, so I think we have comp here, but I think we have comp because they kind of messed up their last pick. I don't know if Pam's bad or not. We personally wouldn't run this in NA though, so I don't know. Uh, we get a pretty quick kill at the start there. Ali SSJ gets a little bit aggressive. Um, some unfortunate bell bounces there, but Zar is really holding down that right side. He's got a counter, but it's not like an unwinnable counter. Like that's something like he's playing really good this game. OG wins lane versus the B. And you guys can see we're not breaking their walls. We're breaking our walls. So the reason we're not breaking their walls is you guys can see Javi has to walk through this like three tile thing to go into the middle of the map. And so does boss. But OG's side is broken. He has all this room to wiggle around and juke. Now we didn't do it on both sides because I'm buster and I don't want a completely wide open map. We definitely like some of it to be closed. But I mean, this game was like... I don't know. This is about as perfect as you can get it. We killed Ali SSJ right off the start. Uh, Zar won his lane right off the start and just held it the entire time since. And then, I mean, OG, I don't think he plays Otis, you know, like a ton. Like he's definitely probably team Otis, but I don't think it's like a main of his or whatever. He played crazy this game. He didn't die to a B one time, which I mean, all of us played well, but for an Otis not to, to die to a B on this map is pretty ridiculous. So gonna go into the next game here we went from down as much as we were down oh there's Luki I know Luki's gonna be watching this Luki you saw yourself you're in the video so yeah we went from down all that we were to here which is pretty crazy which is pretty crazy um, and they are gonna play this one a lot better something I noticed about this team is if they have a bad game one they make really nice adjustments which I, I don't know if that's props to the coach I would imagine it's props to the coach I don't really imagine know who exactly you know is the cause for that but i really like the way they make adjustments and kind of take a new approach to the next game you know if so if it's someone's fault for doing something in the first game let's change that change i don't know whatever it may be really good that was a bad shield um that was pretty bad that was pretty bad czar super um also you know pretty bad because it broke their side um so you know not the greatest of starts here they get some traps down on the right side um, Zara's got to shoot three shots on the Pam turret to kind of, you know, take it away. So that's just free time for them. And it's not looking too good. We do get bailed out though. OG gets the kill. And then we're going to be able to get a kill over there on Ali SSJ. Zara hits a trap. He was kind of going to die anyway. So it was actually a really good time to hit the trap. And here, once we have position on this map, the Buster Super is just broken. We basically put Havi in a corner just with our Buster Super. And I mean, I, we do go down here, but we get Ali SSJ to one. OG hits the last trap on the right side and gets himself, you know, he's still, well, he was max HP, he's now dead, but he got rid of the trap and had position, and here, another one of my better plays from MSI, uh, or not from MSI, I'm saying MSI from Worlds, get a nice little team wipe over there, there's a trap on the right side, I'm saying, don't go right, don't go right, there's a trap there, uh, everyone's focused up, um, now don't read my lips at the end of this here, but we're in a good spot, we're looking good. We get some shots. We get rid of the, the turret. Uh, Zara gets his super. We get the kill. We kill Javi. We kill Ali SSJ. Uh, and we win the game. And that is pretty crazy, to be honest. I don't know how that happened. Group hug for the boys. Uh, that was pretty crazy, to be honest. That we were down as much as you can be down in a game. And we won. And like the the you, I don't look happy, but the relief inside my body is like wow. Because I mean, no offense to TQ whatsoever. All respects, they played amazing. We were one round off of just getting full swept, but like we were not supposed to lose this. AQM was supposed to be the harder opponent, and we went into it. Went like going into this. You guys know as STMN fans, if you guys watch us, we win what we're not supposed to win. And we lose what we're supposed to win. So I knew this was going to be a tough one. I don't think a lot of other people saw it that way. Uh, but we really got, you know, bailed out that we, you know, won this game. Because that made our world's experience a lot better. Getting swept by 
TQ would not have been fun, and reverse sweeping them was really fun. So, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it uh, for the video. If you guys enjoyed the match, I know this again is a longer video, but I kind of had no choice with this one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Uh, OG, you know, talking is trash. I don't know if he's kind of toxic, OG. But yeah, I don't know. Clean win. Good job. We'll see you guys for the Zeta matches for the next video. I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed. Um, so I might, you know, I know I just came back from Worlds. I know. And I just started uploading again. I know it's not my fault. But I'm going to be, you know, like in my bed for like four days not being able to talk. Um, so, you know, for a little bit, don't expect any content. I know it's my fault. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be it for us today. See you guys later. Uh, thank you guys for watching all that. Catch you later. Peace. Hey you. Yes you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.